All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to Kotobo Space Program, where today we are back in the 1.1.3 version of the game, this time taking a look at the Dump and Burn mod, which is being made by forum user RKFNQL322, also known as Saki, and I'm going to be upfront with you guys on this one. This is not exactly what I would call a useful mod as it basically falls into the category for me of a mod that I saw on the forums that made me laugh, and so here we are, as basically what this mod does look to add into the game is a singular, simple nozzle, which you can attach to your aircraft to dump the liquid fuel into the atmosphere. And once that liquid fuel is dumped, you can then light it on fire, and that just entertains me to a degree I cannot really fathom or understand, which is worrying, frankly, that I like fire so much. But hey, it's a good time, so let's jump right on into the space plane hangar and take a look at that one singular part. Let's grab a Mark I cockpit, zoom in, and then go to the fuel tanks category where we have the jettison nozzle. So let's just pop that on there, and as I said, it is a very, very simple part. I mean, it's a nozzle. You really shouldn't be expecting much in the way of modeling here or texturing, though I do like that the mod maker did include their uh, name on there, so, you know, it's the little touches. And basically, like I said, what this does is this nozzle will release the liquid fuel from your aircraft. Now, the speed at which it does it is dependent on the nozzle size. Now, by default, it will be at a nozzle size of 1, which will dump liquid fuel out at a rate of 50 per second. Now, if you pump it all the way up to 10, it will dump it at a rate of 500 per second. So you can basically empty out even the largest of aircraft within seconds if you have it all the way up to the nozzle size of 10. Now, personally, I like to keep it at the uh, one level as that seems sufficient for, you know, good long burns, but you can always put it down to, you know, all the way down to point 0.1 if you so desire, if you're wanting to get a bit more bang for your buck. Uh, but yeah, that's how it works. Now, now, thankfully, you can actually set this thing to action groups. If we come down here, we can toggle the nozzle, either open or close, or do them individually. And the final option here is the heat up the nozzle. Now, this is an interesting thing, and also kind of what I dislike about the mod, as this is how you actually light the liquid fuel on fire. If you just did this, you empty out your liquid fuel, which actually does have in-flight uses. You may want your ship to be lighter if you're coming in for, you know, a hard landing or something like that. Or you might just want to dump all your fuel to be lighter so you can glide hopefully longer. Just whatever the case may be, there are legitimate uses for wanting to dump fuel. The lighting it on fire part, though, is just purely entertainment and fun, frankly. And this is what does it. Now, personally, I'd prefer if it was just the engines that lit it on fire, but in this mod, I guess maybe that was too difficult. So uh, we just have a heating element. Thing is, though, you can't turn off the heating element once it's on. Once you heat it up, it's on forever. Even if you toggle the nozzle off again, when you toggle it back on to dump more fuel later, it's still going to be heated up. Which, again, isn't really a deal breaker here, but I would like to see this heat up nozzle being a toggle, just like the nozzle itself is. But that is basically how it works, so let's actually load up a really, really awful airplane that I built in about two minutes to actually show off this mod. Now, I have a singular nozzle here, which is set to one by default, but you can, of course, have as many nozzles as you desire, but remember, at one, it dumps fuel at 50 per second, so the more nozzles you add, the more fuel you're going to lose at a quicker rate. Ooh, and I should also know, uh, mention one thing here. Fuel tanks that are disabled and turned off, your engines may not be able to use that fuel, but the nozzle still can. So it doesn't matter if an, a uh, fuel tank is enabled or disabled, the nozzle will still get at its fuel. So keep that in mind if you are trying to save a tank for later. 
it's uh, it's not going to happen with this thing. So let's go to launch and uh, hopefully actually take this thing off. <laughs> I have only taken this thing off once so far in testing, so let's hope that it uh, actually continues to function today. So let's take off. And we will, once we're in the air, turn back around over the Kerbal Space Center to actually ignite the nozzle. Now, uh, you may be wondering about the change of the nozzle size if it changes the size of the flames, which sadly it does not. The uh, flame size seems to be the same no matter what you set it to, whether it's 0.1 or 10, you're just always gonna have that happen. And apparently, I lost landing gear, huh. That hasn't happened in my test. Granted, like I said, I've only tested this plane once so far. But there we go, let's turn ourselves around while missing a singular landing gear. <laughs> and I'm going to toggle on our resource view here. Now we have 2300 fuel in total on this plane. So what I'm going to do is zoom out, give us a little turn here, and then turn off the UI, because what we're gonna do is activate the fuel dump and there we go, we are dumping fuel at a rate of 50 per second. And if I toggle two, now we've lit it on fire. There we go. Again, not exactly the most spectacular thing ever, but I just like the idea of burning up all of my fuel. Let's toggle that off so we actually still have fuel to fly with. And I'm going to slow down because you may have noticed something if we toggle it back on that the particle effect is very highly spaced out. Now, this is one of my other issues with this. If you're over about 150 meters per second, you get this effect. Anything below 150 meters per second, and you should be fine. Now, we're actually running low on fuel here, so let's uh, cheat in a little bit more, because, well, <laughs> that's just wonderful. So there we are, we have our effect, and let's actually give it a good turn so we can slow down and hopefully get it to a uh, slightly less spaced out effect there. All right, we're down to about 100, and as you can see, we still do have a little bit of spacing, but it's not too bad. Overall, it's still a good solid flame for the most part. And yeah, we just have a giant trail of fire coming off the back of our plane. And let's uh, put in more fuel there, and then toggle it off which we've already done, of course, but notice this time that when we toggle it back on, it's still on fire. Oh, it's not on fire, actually. Huh. Well, that's interesting. That's the first time I've toggled it that it hasn't been. All right, well, let's ignite it again. Try this one more time. That may have just been an odd bug, which is a good bug, frankly, but there we go. Toggle it off and toggle it back on again. Yes, it's on fire. So that is interesting. Now, I've done a good few tests with this so far, and that is the first time moments ago when it was still, or when it was not on fire after toggling it back on. So that is interesting. It might be something that uh, maybe there's some mechanic I'm missing there, but for the most part, if you turn it on, the heating element's going to remain on. So personally, like I said, I would just like a method of turning that off so I could say, unignite the current fire that's here uh so hopefully it stops burning maybe who knows but yes this is the dump and burn mod now we are gonna quickly just revert flight to go in and actually show you the greater nozzle size so you saw that with that one it was dumping at at 50 per second so let's just quickly go to the 10 per second and we'll just straight up do that on the runway just so you can see the vast difference and the speed at which it does dump your fuel and actually we don't even need to move we can do it right here when parked so if we dump the fuel fuel there it all goes oh boy light it real quick and it's gone <laughs> so that is all that you have with the difference in the nozzle size the bigger the nozzle size the more quickly it's going to dump your fuel and that's that's really all there is to this mod but like i said Perhaps not the most useful thing, but it's one I find that I'm entertained by. I like the idea of being able to burn a trail of fuel behind my ship, and it's it's just, it's fun in my mind. So if you would like to check this mod out for yourself, and I definitely would say to give it a try, because again, there are valid uses for dumping your fuel. I just like lighting it on fire. But go check out, link in the description. And of course, I do hope you have enjoyed this mod today and that you do come back for the next. But until that time, thank you for watching. And as always, my friends, have a good one.